Hello and welcome to my channel, Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading. It is a reading for the collective and you will all experience this differently depending on your placements. We have the master has come out. We have the burden. We have awareness. So that's a fascinating card, isn't it? And integration. Beautiful. And we just need one more. Wow, we have the creator. Okay. Wow. Okay, so that makes a lot of sense. So I think, you know, at the very center of this it is this card, the awareness card, and it's kind of like breaking through an illusion. Something is breaking through uh, or a cloudiness where you're actually becoming aware of something that is breaking through here and is really wanting to get your attention. I feel like something or someone or a situation is going to really want that. I feel like this is more of an internal energy, uh, but I actually – it could be reflected in the external. So if it's someone going through something and then you're seeing that in yourself as well, that's kind of what they're talking about. So there is a sense that there's uh, – the first words I got was becoming more whole, becoming whole. A part of you is kind of integrating in and becoming whole. And it starts with that thing of the awareness of, of how that started. And this thing that's been kind of quite illusionary or a cloud over you, whatever it is, it's like it, at this point it kind of becomes such a burden that it it's impossible to ignore at that time and this is really about a sense of stepping into a greater mastery of self a greater mastery of something that you might be doing in the world or creating in the world and really coming back to alignment to your source energy to yourself and so that when you're actually manifesting or creating something in the world it's from a place of wholeness and mastery not a place of fear and doubt and that's what's kind of coming in as that the, the fear, the burden is coming in and being kind of with the awareness and it's like a mindful awareness. It's non-judgmental. It's just going, oh, I didn't realize that that was playing out in my life and now I do. Uh, it kind of suddenly takes the power away from it by being able to see something, see through the illusion. So uh, this is really about, you know, what, again, it's, you know, the seed that we planted back in the Pisces new moon and it's now starting to grow in this airy season and we're seeing it and like, it's like, how are we nurturing it? How are we watering it, giving it what it needs to grow into its full potential? And it's kind of like it's being um, massaged and looked after and, tested and all of these sort of things and this is like saying well there's something here that um is that we don't an energy here we don't want to bring in with that uh and it just requires being open and aware so uh, yeah it is about integrating the two sides of yourself the yin and the yang the polar opposites and that's kind of what we've been working on i mean we can see that there we have been working on those pol polarities and how they work within your life and interestingly like yesterday we found that the alignment the center point was going within and connecting in and finding that internal guidance and finding that place of peace that place of center inside and so sometimes when you do visit that you do get information you do learn about things the dynamics of things playing out in your life and that's where this kind of pops up as well the awareness and how this has played out as a burden in your life a uh, 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 could have been a pattern of some sort. So, uh, yeah, I mean, that's really what it is. It's wanting you to create from a place of uh, kind of wholeness within you. Purity is the word they're kind of giving me in that it's like – you are glowing from the inside. So this is also a really great energy around the solar plexus. Uh, so working on that energy of personal power, 
working on how you relate to yourself, your power in terms of relating to yourself and other people. And so, yeah, that yellow goldy energy, concentrating on that, doing any solar plexus work, wearing those colours or wanting to put yellow or gold things around could actually be really positive today for doing that sort of thing. And so this could play out in terms of just becoming very aware that something in your life has become a burden or someone. Um, It could be being aware of seeing other people and their lack of awareness and that becoming very clear today. It could be a sense of actually there is a sense of um, bringing more ideas and integrating something into a project just say that as an idea that maybe you hadn't thought of or weren't aware of before or even people. Maybe I didn't think that person would be great for this energy, this project or this group energy, however that plays out, and I'm going to bring them in. And so however, I mean, they're just examples, but however it externally plays out to you in your life, and I feel like it will be more to do with your relationships with other people and observing that is and observing and bringing them into a whole. Um, That kind of, like I said, plays out into more of an internal process of a greater integration of self so that this seed that is growing can grow to its full possibility and potential. And that's kind of the energy we had, the possibilities, and we had the two polar opposites. It's all things that we've been working on. And so this feels like it's starting, it's in more of the final stage of integration where something was really kind of, we were looking with those energies and now it's kind of been pulled in and uh, been really kind of almost exposed to the elements so that we can see what it is and then release that and bring it in. So it feels like more of a, an ending or closing. It's getting closer to that integration energy. Uh, so that is the energy for today, feeling like we're mastering something, bringing something really powerful in that we that seed that is growing and that's kind of all being – Uh, just constantly like a little stone being exposed to the elements just coming smoother and smoother and more of a little the actual seed you're planting is becoming something of a greater mastery in itself so I hope that makes sense (laughs) so that's energy for today it's actually really positive today I feel like with that creator energy and all this Aries energy It is a sense of moving towards something, feeling a bit more focused, feeling a bit more motivated, feeling like you're really wanting to, you know, get things done, motivated to make some, yeah, to kind of integrate this to do it. So that's it. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining me.